Okay, this is Jackie, and Jackie's making a dye today. This is the full dye from a chloro dye, and this is a difficult reaction that I described last time that Molly uh, helped work out, and Jackie actually helped work it out. And what he's going to do is add sodium hydride to a phenol. The phenol has a propionic acid on the other side of it. And go ahead, Jackie. And so he's going to first pour the uh, solution of the phenol, which he's dried over molecular sieves, into the uh, sodium hydride. And uh, you'll see it fizz. You can see that. It's going to fizz, foamy, foamy, foam. And that's making the sodium salt basically of the phenol, the phenylate anion. And this has to be done fairly rapidly. So we do this sort of all in one motion. As soon as this stops fizzing, Jackie's got a solution of his dye warming at 50 degrees uh, and also drying at the same time. He's dried and warmed this for like half an hour now. And he's going to lower the uh, phenylate anion solution into the, uh, I'm going to go to the other side, into the bath. And <laughs> trouble getting in here. Anyway, he's going to transfer the uh, dye solution or the uh, anion solution into the dye solution. Sorry, this is sort of impromptu. And uh, he's doing that with a syringe. So he's taking his warm dye, uh, and it's critical to warm this before you determine. This thing isn't like completely dissolved. It won't work. And it's hard to tell it's dissolved because it's so thick in color because it's a dye. We've got 200 milligrams of dye in there. It's a chloro dye. And he's adding it to the sodium anion of the phenol. And uh, we've had trouble with this in the past. But these guys have worked it out. You have to keep the whole thing warm, basically, in addition to everything else he's doing. Now he's just taking his original solution out, putting his reaction mixture in to the oil bath. And yeah, our hoods are kind of yucky. Our hot plates are well used with a lot of burnt stuff on them. Uh, and by the way, the whole thing is under nitrogen. So we have our nitrogen manifold here going over to a T, which is going over basically to a bubble. Sorry, it's actually argon, so the whole thing's under argon gas. And uh, this is our hood and our setup with our manifold, stir plates, Tygon tubing, uh, keeping our reactions dry or free from atmospheric moisture, I should say. Okay, so this is going to stir what, Jackie? 45 minutes. Okay, 45 more minutes to go.